Francis Bacon, Power of Knowledge and the Scientific Method. Hello, friends. Today, we will delve into the life and ideas of the great philosopher and scholar, Francis Bacon, whose concepts of the power of knowledge and the scientific method significantly shaped the course of science. Are you ready to learn more? Let's dive in. Francis Bacon, born in 1561, was a towering figure of the Renaissance and a pivotal character in the intellectual landscape of his time, situated in a period marked by the revival of learning, exploration, and cultural rebirth. Bacon's life unfolded against the backdrop of the Elizabethan and Jacobean eras in England. Born into a family with a strong legal and political background, Bacon's early education reflected the humanist ideals of the Renaissance. His studies at Trinity College, Cambridge, laid the foundation for his intellectual pursuits, and he demonstrated an early aptitude for languages, literature, and the natural sciences. Bacon's political career began with a seat in the House of Commons, and he steadily climbed the ranks. His political ascent reached its zenith with his appointment as Lord Chancellor, the highest legal office in England. However, this illustrious career was not without controversy, and Bacon eventually faced political setbacks. Bacon's literary legacy is embodied in his philosophical and scientific writings. The advancement of learning and Novum Organum, among others, showcased his commitment to reforming the methods of acquiring knowledge. Bacon's emphasis on empirical observation and systematic inquiry laid the groundwork for the scientific method. To understand Bacon fully, one must appreciate the cultural and political milieu of his time. The Renaissance, marked by a revival of classical knowledge and a shift towards humanism, provided fertile ground for Bacon's ideas. Additionally, the Elizabethan and Jacobean periods were characterized by political intrigue, scientific exploration, and a fervent quest for knowledge. As we delve deeper into Bacon's ideas, Keep in mind the rich tapestry of his life and the dynamic historical context that shaped both the man and his philosophy. Join us in the next part as we explore Bacon's perspectives on the power of knowledge and his critique of authority. Moving beyond the biographical lens, let's now focus on Bacon's philosophical contributions. At the core of his epistemology is the concept of the power of knowledge, a revolutionary idea challenging traditional approaches to understanding the world. In Bacon's time, Scholasticism, a medieval approach to learning based on authority and deduction, held sway. Bacon sharply critiqued this system, arguing that it stifled intellectual progress by relying on received wisdom rather than empirical investigation. He championed a break from these entrenched traditions to dismantle the barriers to true understanding. Bacon introduced the notion of the idols of the mind. These were fallacies and biases that clouded human judgment, such as idols of the tribe, general human tendencies, idols of the cave, individual biases, idols of the marketplace, linguistic misunderstandings, and idols of the theatre, dogmatic philosophies. Bacon stressed the importance of empirical observation and systematic experimentation. He advocated for a hands-on approach to acquiring knowledge, urging scientists to engage directly with nature rather than relying solely on theoretical reasoning. This emphasis on the empirical laid the groundwork for the scientific method. Central to Bacon's methodology was inductive reasoning drawing general conclusions from specific observations. He believed that accumulating a broad base of empirical data would lead to more reliable and universally applicable knowledge. This approach contrasted sharply with the deductive reasoning prevalent in scholasticism. Bacon's philosophical views are vividly expressed in his literary works. Nova Morganum, part of his larger work in Storatio Magna, outlines his new method for acquiring knowledge. In it, he articulates his vision of science as a collective, gradual enterprise driven by empirical evidence. Having explored Bacon's epistemological framework, We'll now delve into how these ideas shaped the scientific method and empiricism. Join us in the next part as we unravel Bacon's impact on the methodology of scientific inquiry. Now, let's journey into Francis Bacon's groundbreaking contributions to the scientific method. Bacon envisioned a systematic and methodical approach to inquiry, a departure from the speculative methods of his time. Before diving into the scientific method, it's essential to remember Bacon's four idols of the mind, the impediments to clear thinking. By recognizing and overcoming these idols, Bacon believed one could pave the way for true scientific understanding. Bacon's scientific method heavily relied on inductive reasoning, where specific observations lead to general principles. This contrasted sharply with deductive reasoning, emphasizing the need to build knowledge from the ground up. 
based on empirical evidence. A key aspect of Bacon's method was the integration of experimentation into scientific inquiry. He encouraged researchers to actively engage with the natural world, conducting experiments and systematically recording observations. This hands-on approach became foundational to modern experimental science. In Novum Organum, Bacon proposed a calendar for scientific inquiry. The calendar outlined a systematic progression of inquiries, ensuring a methodical exploration of nature. This organized approach aimed at avoiding haphazard or incomplete investigations. Bacon emphasized the collaborative nature of scientific progress. He envisioned a community of researchers collectively contributing to the advancement of knowledge. This communal aspect echoes in modern scientific practices, where peer-reviewed publications and shared databases are integral. The impact of Bacon's ideas reverberated throughout the scientific revolution, influencing luminaries like Galileo and Newton. His emphasis on empirical observation and systematic inquiry laid the groundwork for the empirical methods that became fundamental to scientific discovery. As we conclude this exploration of Bacon's scientific method, We'll next investigate his views on scientific progress and technological innovations. Join us in the next part as we unravel how Bacon's ideas shaped the trajectory of science and its applications. Having delved into Bacon's scientific method, let's now explore his perspectives on the broader implications of scientific progress and its impact on society. Bacon firmly believed that scientific progress was not merely an intellectual pursuit but a powerful force for the betterment of society. He saw the potential for science to address practical problems, improve human life, and contribute to the overall well-being of communities. One of Bacon's key insights was the need to bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application. He envisioned science as a tool for harnessing the forces of nature to meet human needs, whether in agriculture, medicine, or industry. Bacon's ideas resonated with the growing spirit of innovation during the early stages of the Industrial Revolution. His emphasis on empirical methods and practical applications laid the groundwork for the technological advancements that characterized this era. In his grand vision, called the Instauratio Magna, the Great Instauration, Bacon outlined a comprehensive plan for the advancement of all sciences. He envisioned a collective effort to accumulate knowledge systematically leading to a profound transformation of human understanding and capabilities. Bacon's emphasis on the practical benefits of scientific knowledge continues to influence contemporary thought. The integration of science and technology in addressing global challenges reflects Baconian ideals, showcasing the enduring relevance of his vision. The technological innovations that emerged in the wake of Bacon's ideas demonstrate his lasting impact from advancements in medicine and agriculture to the Industrial Revolution and beyond. Bacon's vision laid the groundwork for a trajectory of scientific and technological progress. As we wrap up this exploration of Bacon's views on progress and innovation, join us in the final part where we'll examine Bacon's legacy and enduring influence on the philosophy of science. Now, let's delve into the enduring legacy of Francis Bacon and the lasting impact his ideas have had on the philosophy of science, empiricism, and the broader intellectual landscape. Bacon's influence on the philosophy of science is profound. His emphasis on empirical observation, inductive reasoning, and the systematic accumulation of knowledge laid the groundwork for the scientific method. These principles continue to shape how we approach scientific inquiry and discovery today. Bacon's advocacy for empirical methods contributed significantly to the development of empiricism as a philosophical foundation. The idea that knowledge is derived from sensory experience and observation became a cornerstone of modern philosophy influencing thinkers like John Locke and David Hume. Bacon's ideas reverberated through subsequent philosophical movements. Empiricists, including John Locke and George Berkeley, built upon his foundation, shaping the dialogue on the nature of knowledge and human understanding. The empiricist tradition remains influential in contemporary philosophy. The scientific method, as envisioned by Bacon, became the gold standard for scientific inquiry. His call for systematic experimentation and the accumulation of empirical evidence became ingrained in the scientific community, leading to countless breakthroughs and advancements. In the 21st century, Bacon's influence is palpable in contemporary scientific practices. Peer-reviewed publications, rigorous experimentation, and the collaborative nature of scientific research 
all echo his vision of a collective pursuit of knowledge. Francis Bacon's legacy extends far beyond his lifetime. His ideas not only shaped the scientific revolution of his era, but continue to inspire scientists, philosophers, and thinkers across disciplines. Bacon's call for the relentless pursuit of knowledge, grounded in empirical evidence, remains a guiding principle in our quest to understand the world. As we conclude our exploration of Francis Bacon's life, ideas, and legacy, we acknowledge the indelible mark he left on the philosophy of science. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the intellectual landscape of one of history's great thinkers. Until next time, keep exploring the vast realms of philosophy and knowledge.